for an instrument to indicate the readings it needs to have three important systems called as deflection or moving system controlling system and damping system which respectively provide three torques called as deflecting torque controlling torque and damping torque now torque is a type of force although both of them are not exactly the same let's consider here as the force provided is nothing but torque provided by the respective system so let's understand all these three torques and all these three systems here so for understanding we have considered here the scale of an emitter what you can see here the diagram this represents the scale of an emitter instrument emitter is an instrument which is used for measuring the current flowing in a circuit when this emitter is not connected in the circuit let's say that it is not connected then the pointer of the emitter will point at its zero zero reading because there is no current because this is not connected in the circuit so this is at its initial zero position now let us assume that this emitter is connected in a circuit in which the current is flowing so as this emitter is connected in the circuit this pointer should deflect and it should indicate what is the magnitude of the current flowing in the circuit so as it is connected in the circuit this pointer has to move and that moving force or deflecting force or the deflecting torque is provided by a system called as deflection system and the torque is called as deflection torque also it is called as moving torque so once the deflection torque or moving torque is provided by the deflection system this pointer will go or it will move away from its zero position now let us assume that the magnitude of the current flowing in the circuit is 3 amperes let's assume that it is 3 amperes so what this pointer should do it should go and stay at position 3 at this point 3 now damping system cannot provide that facility so for this pointer to stay at position 3 there is another type of system called as controlling system that provides a force called as controlling torque and once the controlling torque is provided this pointer will be no longer here it will go here at position this position because the magnitude of our uh, current in the circuit is 3 amperes so at this position where deflection torque is equal to the controlling torque which is this position called as the equilibrium position at this point at this position the pointer has to stay it has to stop here but what is happening here is the deflecting system and the controlling system both of them have got inertia and because of that inertia the pointer cannot perfectly stay here so what will happen to the pointer is because of the inertia of the system the pointer will move this side but at this side controlling torque is greater than the deflection torque so what it will do it will go it will go backward and it will come here but at this side what is happening deflection torque is greater than the controlling torque so again it will move to this position at this position controlling torque is greater than the deflection torque so it will move backward so it will keep on moving forward and backward so at this point there is it there is oscillation of the pointer taking place it is oscillating about this position now such number of oscillations will take place and it will be difficult for the experimenter to take the reading the experimenter will get confused whether the reading is 2.3 or 2.5 or 3 or 3.1 3.2 3.5 3.7 what is the reading so here that confusion will take place because of the oscillation of the pointer now in order to reduce this oscillation and so as to get this pointer at this equilibrium position there is one more type of system present in the instrument called as damping system that provides damping torque damping torque what it does is it reduces the number of oscillations taken by this pointer here that is it damps the oscillations damp meaning reduce it damps the oscillations so that there are very less number of oscillations and finally the pointer comes at this position that is the magnitude of the current flowing in the circuit so these are the systems and these are the torques present in an instrument which makes the instrument to give us the reading of the quantity which is to be measured